Hello my friends, this video will be about kettlebell fitness. Today I will teach you two exercises, a uh, uh, lunge walk and uh, dragon tail. I will show you a uh, few variants of uh, lunge walk and a few variants of dragon tail. Schwarz. We'll start from lunge walk. The first variant of uh, lunge walk is more simple variant. Is uh, lunge walk uh, with kettlebell at the right position. If you use your right arm, you should use your right leg. And uh, I want to pay attention at the finish of the step. Your uh, body weight should be over your heel. Uh, you should not transfer your body weight to your toes and uh, your knee joint joint should be not far than the line of your toes. The second variant of uh, lunge walk is uh, uh, walk with kettlebell overhead. Uh, now I want to pay attention to position of your elbow. You should try to keep your elbow forward uh, during the exercise. The third variant is combination two exercises clean and lunge. The fourth variant is combination lunge and press. The fifth variant include three exercises clean, lunge and press. Sixth variant, next combination, snatch and overhead lunge. And last variant, my favorite combination, snatch and lunge with press. All variants of the lunge walk are very useful for improving of uh, conditioning of your low body and legs, especially for your quadriceps, hamstrings, glutes and calf muscles. And uh, as for uh, weight of kettlebell, uh, uh, ladies can use uh, kettlebells from 6 to uh, 10 kilos and uh, gentlemen can use kettlebells from 10 to 16 uh, kilos. Uh, the weight uh, depends on uh, your individual uh, level of your feet. And uh, uh, you can use, for example, uh, from 12 up to 20 steps for each side uh, and uh, three rounds during your training session. The next exercise is uh, dragon tail or dragon flag. Uh, this exercise is very useful for improving of uh, the conditioning of your uh, abdominal uh, core muscles and uh, the muscles of your upper and low back. The first variant of uh, dragon tail is more simple variant. Uh, at the start position your uh, legs straight and your heels about 5-10 cm above the floor. Uh, and uh, you should drive your knees joints to your elbow joints. And then return to the uh, start position. The second variant uh, looks uh, same with the first variant. 
uh, but at the finish of the first part of exercise uh, you should try to straight your body up to the vertical position. During the third variant, you should uh, keep your legs straight. As for the first three variants, the weight of using kettlebell is doesn't matter. As for the weight of kettlebells for the variant uh, number 4 and number 5, uh, you should take about uh, 35 or 70% of your body weight. For example, my body weight is 67 or 68 kilos, so I use 224 kilos kettlebells. Uh, kettlebells uh, are situated at the floor and uh, you should uh, try to keep your body straight. Uh, your trunk and your legs should be in one line during the exercise. The more difficult variant of the dragon tail is the variant number 5. At the start position your arms with kettlebells are straight and vertical. And then you should move your arms a little bit back and uh, rise your body with your legs up to the vertical position. The variant number 5 is uh, very good uh, for not only for your strength and uh, is very good for increase and improve uh, your coordination skills. As for the number of the reps for this exercise, you can use uh, from uh, uh, 10 up to 20 repetitions uh, during the one set. And uh, as for the variant number 5, I think it, it will be good if you, if you can do one repetition. And, uh, uh, you can you can combine a uh, few variants of uh, dragon tail. For example, you can start from uh, variant number five, then continue with variant number four, and then continue with variant number three, and uh, finish by variant number uh, two and one. Now the lesson is over. 
I want to say you bye bye. I am waiting for your uh, likes, reposts, comments and donations. Stay with Rudnif and Kettlebells.